my God. Anyway, oh my God. Y'all hoes messy. Ooh, Craig, you messy. We can't, we're not gonna stay on this. I'm 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 well, girl, I wanted to kind of backslide over there to uh Jonathan Major because I wanted to kind of say a little something about that. Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Here we go. <clears throat> Marvel drops Jonathan Major's after guilty assault verdict. Damn, he was a good cane. He was. He was. He was a good cane. I enjoyed his character. Kane Wayne with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I'm just blowing my bangs. <laughs> Let me slide my bangs out the way. Ooh. Girl, it's just, you know, what's really sad to me about this. Well, well wait, let me go back to Tyler for, I mean, allegedly. <laughs> well, he's, it's, they said Tyler going down with the rest, not today. Well, let me say this. That's what made me want to double back. We're going to come back to Jonathan in a second. Now, you know I love Oprah's Dirty Drawers. But I want to know if she's going to leave. If this comes out, because it may not come out, I think he might just kind of, you know, slide a little something under the door to make this go away. If it does come out, though, if several other things come out and then it does come out that it is Medea, I wonder if Oprah is going to leave him out in, the, out in the cold like she did Bill Cosby. And Weinstein? Uh -huh. And Weinstein? Who? No, but what she did, the whooping just recently on The View. What happened with that? Because <laughs> I've been hearing about that. You, you saw the clip? What she did, the whooping on The View. I, see, I didn't see that. I keep hearing about it, but I didn't see it. Let me call Monique and ask her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you bastard. Yeah, see. Girl, this is fag talk. <laughs> P.H. popular hot ass gossip. Not to be confused with F.A.G. Right, because we're not fags at all. We're not fags at all. <laughs> Wait a minute. What, what? I've been hearing about that. What happened with Whoopi and Oprah? They haven't been promoting because Whoopi hasn't really been promoting the color purple with them. So like what? And do you think Oprah's gonna call Tyler like Natalia? What is going on? She already been talking to him. You don't well, know. First of all, you, <laughs> now you know Oprah knows that he's a fag, and I don't mean P H A G. I you mean F A G. Allegedly. You mean F A G? I mean F A G. Oprah knows he's a fag. It's okay if you was a fag. F A G. Allegedly. It's okay. I want all my fags, my F A Gs out there to know it's okay to be a fag. Well, somebody send that that memo over to the Tyler Perry studio. <laughs> somebody send that over to him. Listen, Oprah, Oprah knows a fag when she sees one. So do we. That's right. She had a brother that, that passed, a stepbrother that died years ago, uh -huh. who was who was an FAG. Okay. Reggie Weeks or Walker that used to do her makeup is an FAG. Okay. The one that did her hair, Andre, he's an FAG. Okay. I mean, well, somebody said this, Maddie. Right here, look. Um, I don't want to put it on because I I it's a legend. I I don't know if it's true or not, but right Oh, they said Oprah's a well, bull dagger. Well, I was going to go there, but I wasn't going to go there. Some of y'all say that Oprah's a bull dagger. <laughs> she and Gail. Now, I don't know if I believe that. <sighs> but I wonder if she's going to pull, you know, pull him to the... Is she going to... Because you know she was going to put uh, Russell Simmons in that book. Remember she was doing a book years ago, and it was like all of these people who have like different practices, and he was going to talk about yoga and meditating and all that. And then when that shit came out about him... They kindly closed his chapter and said, oh, no, we're not going to be able to include this in the book. Girl, what did Oprah do to Whoopi? That's what we need to know. Because I've seen all the girls on the on the press run. Except for Whoopi. Now, Whoopi, this is, no, no tea, no motherfucking shade. The whole storyline is about that goddamn Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. That whole story is about Whoopi. Even though Fantasia playing Whoopi, mm -hmm. I needed to see... Whoopi to Whoopi nineteen eighty seven and and Whoopi, what is it? Uh, twenty twenty three. Yeah. I need to see that. That's right. We ain't really seen Whoopi one time. That's true. Oh, we not seen Sophia, and I ain't talking about the real Miss Sophia. I'm talking about Sophia, old oh, Miss Sophia. No, uh -huh. we uh -huh. don't see her show even, and we don't see the little Miss Sophia. I thought you were talking about Miss Sophia. No, we don't <laughs> see the little one after her eye got fixed when she got beat up over there. <laughs> Whoopi ain't done nothing but the view. That's true. That's the only promo she's done. Uh, 
Oh, they said she didn't. She wasn't invited. Right. And I heard that that was a problem. Yeah, they said she wasn't invited. Y'all need to make the Instagram a stream yard. Y'all need to make the Instagram comments be over here so we don't got to be looking back. Right. It True. all need. It all need to run together. This yeah, he has sense. one. It's one. Y'all get it together. We are one. But they not over there. <laughs> <laughs> but, they not. but I guarantee you, All I'm right. going on over there to see the fucking uh what? I'm going down there to see if if, if uh Seeley visit the shave mill Listen, <laughs> oh, I am going to see the movie. Oh, I'm most definitely doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's the most definite. We already got our tickets. I'm gonna be there. Because I want to see that. Whoopi was on Sherry last week, but she ain't done nothing with the rest of the cast. We ready to do I heard it was a lot of pressure though down there to the to the thing, and, and I think Miss Thing got up and left. Miss Oprah, they say Miss Oprah put she put all six of her toes in that shoe, bitch, and she <laughs> hauled ass. Six? Yes, you know Oprah got six toes. No, you lying. Stop. Stop. Why somebody me. asked me at the City Winery show, did you really write almost doesn't count with my brain? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, know Oprah got six toes. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, Y'all know she put all six of those toes in that motherfucker size nine shoe. Oh, Cause you know, Oprah has been looking good in that purple. Though. That she looked amazing. I'm not gonna even hold you. I'm not even gonna hold you, bitch. Right? I said, God, I see what Ozempic doing for them. Let it do it for me. <laughs> Get off of me, uh, not Ozempic. God, I see what Ozempic is doing for those girls. Can you make it do it for me? Right, right. That is too funny. <laughs> All right, we, we gonna make the Jonathan. Yes, oh, let's yes, go back. Listen, because Instagram Maiden. about to get shut off in a few minutes. Yes, indeed. Y'all better get on over to the internet. Yo, to the, y'all about uh, YouTube. Y'all or got the, a good uh, fifteen minutes. Facebook. Y'all got a good fifteen minutes. But my thing with Jonathan Major is this: first of all, I bet next time he gonna keep his ass inside the gate. Remember how your mama used to say, "Keep your ass inside this gate. Don't go outside that gate." Craig, come on now. This is what we not gonna do. What's that? What we not finna do is sit up here. If you wanna date outside your race, it's okay. I didn't say it wasn't. But listen, if you wanna date outside your race, it's okay. I didn't say it wasn't. My problem when you date outside of your race is telling the other races that they better than your own. That's my only issue I and got did he with. he do that? I don't know well, what they kinda. do. He said, I don't know. He said, he, well, no, no, he did it, but he did tell her that she need to be more like Coretta. Well, then you get you a Coretta. That, my point exactly. How he think he would get a Coretta out of a white woman? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I was thinking that myself. I was like, how do you how do you be a Coretta as a white woman? How do you be a Coretta? Listen, I do believe that you should go wherever love finds you, right? Yep. Um now I'm 20 seconds from dating outside of my race. <laughs> oh, and then, girl, so I don't want to hear you say nothing no, no, else but about I, it. But, but I didn't say white. I don't want to hear you I say I didn't say white. We got Hispanic men. I'm gonna start there. What do you have against white people, Craig? Don't do that. I don't, have, listen, I don't have anything against white people. They have everything against us. I mean, not all, but they have. Many but... of them. I'm going to tell you what Muhammad Ali said. If it was a thousand poisonous snakes were coming down here after me, and it was one that was not poisonous, you think I'm going to say, oh, there's a good one right in there. No, bitch, I'm going to haul ass. I ain't got time to be trying to sift through the thousand poisonous snakes to get to that one. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> okay, so now here's my thing. All right, <laughs> girl. What was it? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> what, what was it, girl? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> girl, this hair looks delicious on you, girl. Thank you, bitch. Girl, what is this, plum burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> <laughs> 99J. Yes, girl, this is sickening hair. Thank you. Yes. 99J. That's a nice little party cat. Yes. Oh, for a good party. Yes. <laughs> 99J. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I'm seriously, though, if you want to date outside your race, that's fine. Because Serena Williams, I love Serena. She dated many black men. And then she ended up marrying this white guy. A lot of people were attacking her because she dated this white guy. I wasn't one of those people because I feel like, what are you supposed to do? Go your entire life waiting on the, a black man to act right and do what the fuck he's supposed to do? No. But my thing is, oh, Kimberly said Craig been racist. I am not racist, <laughs> but uh, I don't see color. Well, you saw this 99J. <laughs> it's 99J. <laughs> right. But, 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 but the thing is, though, I feel like 
that man was ripping and racing through those streets. Mm-hmm. And, and and I don't know what happened in the text messages. All I know is that man was running. He's a runner. He's a track star. Uh, he looked like a slave. He, get, uh, right. he looked like a slave trying to get away from that. Well, he he knew at the moment when that white woman was going to cause his demise. <laughs> and that white woman was was on his trail in them nine West Palm. She was. And he knew at that moment that it was done. He knew that. <sighs> and the thing that's so sad, though, is just imagine. We just started learning about him in the, in the past, what, eight, ten years, maybe? Mm-hmm. Um, what and, really set him off was that. Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft Country. That's, oh, what God. That's when we really first knew him. And then he start, that really kind of set his career up, right? And it's like, you've just been on the scene for 25 minutes. And now this white woman has come in and destroyed you. Marvel then already snatched his contract. As soon as yeah. they, soon as the, soon as the verdict came down the pot, they actually had got the verdict first. Right. <laughs> okay, cancel that nigga. They was like, we just going to wait for y'all to post it. And and, and five think, seconds after, we'll post right after. And to think that all because of this lady, like she destroyed your career. Like, how long is it? I mean, did he yeah. make enough money to kind of where he gonna be working? Right there next to Adina Howard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What does Adina oh, Howard have to do with oh. this? And I will be a freak until the day, <laughs> until the ball. And we can boom, 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 boom. Oh, do the night. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I don't need a thing, my brother, in the gangster league. And we can boom, 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 boom. Right. He can be working right. She can be his supervisor. Because she got more She got more seniority. What we not finna do, first of all, we're not going to job shame. I just went through this on Instagram a few days ago. Well, yes, you, you did. David, we're not job shaming. We're, we're not. We're not. Because one, I didn't job shame, okay? <laughs> I just pointed out fact. Fact is, and th- if you are in your cubicle right now <laughs> Shut up. and you are at your nine to five, I'm not reading you. I'm only reading you if you step outside of your cubicle and you're reading my job. <laughs> That's the only time that I'm reading you. And they step out of where you step outside of your cubicle and you begin to read my job. They step out of their what? Their cubicle. On their 15 minute break. On their 15 minute break or 10 minute break and you begin to read my job. Well, <laughs> that's the only time that we're going to come back here because I'm going to point out the facts. And the facts are I travel the globe because my name is T.S. Madison. My yes, name, girl. The, because my name is T.S. Madison. All right. I travel the globe because of these things. Number one. Number two, my name is attached to a recording artist, being a recording artist, being an actress, being a television personality, being comedian. All of those things are attached to my name. My name is not attached to a cubicle. <laughs> so, bitch, don't sit up there from and don't come from your cubicle to try to serve my job because I wasn't fucking with you. I was going to work while you were going to work. But you, you decided that you want to take upon take it upon yourself to underwhelm my job. To do what, girl? Underwhelm my job. What, girl? And underwhelm my job. And I had to politely tap you on the shoulder. How did you tap them? Tap you on the shoulder. How? Politely How? tap you on your shoulder to remind you that you're, to, to, to say all you need to say in your first 15 minutes because you only have two 15-minute breaks. Well, girl, they get an extra 10 if they smoke. Well, if they smoke cigarettes, they get another could break. Be, but I'm on the plane probably return, responding to something on my way to my next gig. So you're not doing this. Woo. And you know, and they may even be here's another word. And they may even be tethered to a phone uh to a phone cord. Right. And that cubicle. So we're not, you're not gonna sit at your cubicle and you're not gonna serve oh. my, you're not gonna read my job because me, I was at my job working. Where were you girl? At my job working. <laughs> And where were they? At my job working. Where were they though? They were at their job working. <laughs> but I wasn't fucking with them while I was at my job working. God, I got to get out of this fucking thing. Oh my God. You decided to leave your cubicle. It's funny. Okay. You, you decided to leave your cubicle to under to underrate my anointing. Uh, what? Underrate my anointing. Okay. That's what you did. You, If you wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have responded. And don't tell me that I'm so, I should be so busy. And so I have time in between flights to respond. Between what, girl? In between flights and travel. <laughs> or when I'm in the back of my limousine. In the back of your what, girl? In the back of my limousine. Or, I'm in, or I'm in my green room. <laughs> In your what? Or in the recording studio in between takes. In between what? In between takes. 
to respond to you who tried to underwear what I'm doing from your cubicle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh God, I can't take it. You a mess. I mean, oh it's just, it's, see the girls don't like to deal with, bottom line, we dealing with facts. <laughs> bottom line, we dealing with facts. Oh my God. Oh God. I don't even know what we were talking about. <laughs> we were talking about Jonathan Majors and- Oh, and, and, and Dana Howard being his supervisor. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if that man has saved enough money. To, to to sustain until he can you know make a comeback. Like, I mean, wasn't like, that like, his like Jennifer J Jennifer Lewis? I mean, wasn't that his first Marvel movie? No, he did something else. No, not his not movie, but just his first Marvel movie. It, wasn't that his first Marvel movie? <laughs> I don't know. Was that his first? Excuse me, Marvel Marvel movie, guys. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm saying. His, his 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 career is brand new. Yeah, yeah. We can't even name three things he's been in. Lovecraft Country and whatever this was that they, they just dropped him from. Oh, uh, Ant Man. Oh, let me plug up Alexa. Oh, Creed. He was in Creed. Oh, okay, he, he was, was in Creed. Creed. I'm gonna plug up Alexa because Alexa is gonna give us fat. Please. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. He had Alexa. Oh, wait, she just got the power back up. Yeah, she got the. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm about to ask her for us. Hey, Alexa. We're about to know these facts. Please. One moment. Oh, they're they're mentioning they're mentioning. Some oh, he was in the Great Debaters. They're mentioning some movies that he's been in. They right. said Loki on. season one. Hey, Alexa. Oh, she's trying to get her brain waves attacked. Girl, yeah, she's still, she's yeah. Spin, she's spinning around. Just give her a moment. Right, she's still give trying her to calibrate. A, give her a moment, honey. Okay, man, but you know this better than I do. So now that Marvel has let him go, mm -hmm. you know the residual income that he gets? Does well, that go away too? Then, that, okay, now let me tell you something. I'm in the process of dealing with something right now. While I haven't signed a deal. Oh, okay. And I want to say this. I'm not going to give too much. One, my lawyers were very much so did not like the contingency of the morals contract. Of the morals area mm -hmm. in the in the, in the the contract, in the deal that this is why I have not signed this next deal that I will not be at a cubicle. Or I might be. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the reason I have not inked the deal is because of the things that are in the, 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 the written shit in there. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know, and you know, I could fall prey to a lot of stuff because you know, holes see the reason why these holes get angry because they can't cancel me from anything that I do because I make my own way. I, I'm, I make my, my living because my name is T.S. Madison. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, and, and this is the way all of my deals are inked, Bitch, you can't terminate me just because a bitch feels some type of way by me. Ain't working like that because I don't work for you hoes anyway. You hoes ten ninety nine in me. <laughs> that part I want to let you all know you're ten right. you're ten ninety nine in me. Right. You're contracting me, bitch. Right. <sighs> contract now. The boy. contract may last a year. It may last six <laughs> months. Right. It may last four weeks. It may last an episode or a day. Right. But bitch, you're ten ninety nine in me because bitch, it might be a hoe. That feel like that she could tap me on my shoulder mm -hmm. because I work because she thinks that I work for you right. and you think you may have to go over there and think that you can terminate me. And so when I see moral clauses and shit all that wrapped up into moral clauses, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh no, my lawyers is all over that shit. Like, nah, because we know the type of person that we represent, and the person that we represent has a mouth that's gonna go forth. Right. <laughs> In ministry. In <Right>. ministry. <laughs> nah, we don't know about that. <laughs> I know that's right. We, we, we don't know about that. Right. <laughs> now, now, do you think that uh, Megan Good is going to stay around for Jonathan Major? Uh, shit. Hold on, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to ask Alexa. I, I don't know if Alexa has <laughs> I that. I thought you were about to ask Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, who is Jonathan Major? Five Bloods and the HBO series Lovecraft Country, for which he received an Emmy nomination. Mm. Alexa, who is T.S. Madison? T.S. Madison is a reality TV personality and actor who is from the United States. She made history by becoming the first black trans woman to create and star in her own reality show, The T.S. Madison Experience. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 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 she, 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 you're so you're welcome. welcome. I just wanna. We just had to ask for. Bottom line again. 
we're dealing with that. Right. <laughs> now, I do. Somebody asked earlier, do you think that he'll still get his residual income? I believe that he will. Well, here's the, again, you didn't let me finish this thing. Again, it all depends mm -hmm. on your on the contract that you sign. Oh, and how okay. that morality, mor morality, morality call, thing morality is calls, is yeah. tied into that, into your earnings, into what you can earn, and your, your future earnings, and and whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying? Oh. How that's connected. So this is why it's important that you have a entertainment lawyer because I, I I have a very competent. I have two entertainment lawyers. I have a very competent black woman. Who, shout out to my girl Candice out there. Very competent, very competent. She each listen. There are times that Candace gets me together. She's like, listen, I don't give a give a fuck who it comes from. Let me read it now. So you're saying that it's possible because of if we, he we, breached we the contract, he could lose his residuals too. We don't know. Well, see, this is what I was gonna say. Now, my guess oh, would be that wild. he would be able to get it, but we see what happened with um Michael Vick. Remember what happened with him when he we was fighting those dogs and shit. He had made money that he had already earned. Yes, he lost future deals and things like that. But when I said in white folks, they were trying to devastate future generations of wealth in that boy's family. They were trying to go and seize money that they had already paid him. And you messing with the white woman too. So that means, you know, that can be worse. And you ask me why, why, why I don't trust white folks? <laughs> or, why, or, why, or why are they looking at white folks sideways? I have never seen a people so intent on destroying another group of people. And they don't just try to destroy black people. They've done it with they've done it with the Asians, the Chinese people, the Native Americans, Hispanics, the Indians. And I'm talking about the Indians. I'm not talking about Native Americans. I'm talking about Indians over there in New Delhi. Well, Craig, we could talk about the way black people terrorize black people. Now, now that's true. Listen, because we're not going to sit up here and do that. And I'm now, not, and I'm not, and listen, true. I'm not taking up for white people at all, but I'm also not going to sit up here and let black people off the hook. No, that, you're right. <laughs> because, and I, and I tell you this, because we just sat here and we just watched uh, Billy Porter. <laughs> Girl, I just got to. Uh uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <Okay>. No. <laughs> we say, we'll say that for Nashville. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to be coming to Nashville for Fag Talk yeah, in the morning show. And, and Maddie in the morning, put right. the Fag Talk segment. We'll, we'll save that for Nashville, honey. Okay, when I get the dates, I'll be putting out the dates for Nashville. <laughs> um, <laughs> we just saw Billy Porter sitting with Ebro and was saying that it feels bad to be put out by your own. We just watched that. We just saw that, and I, I saw you in the comment section lighting a few black girls up up under there. I sure did, because I was defending Billy. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm an equal opportunity, uh, 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 <laughs> what I want to call it. <laughs> I tears everybody up. You know, because I just think that fair is fair, right? Hold on. Somebody said, Maddie, letting them other folks talk bad about us folks. No, I don't. You ain't never, you must say never see me at work. They knew the channel. You must be new to the, to the page, to the channel. You ain't seen me at work. Baby, everybody gets it. I'm an equal employment opportunity person. Mm -hmm. I will give you the work. Yeah. I will give you the work no matter your race, your color, your gender, your sexual orientation, your background, species. your species, bitch. <laughs> I will give you the work. I am an equal employment employee opportunity person, bitch. You will get the work. You, you, you apply, you'll get the job. I promise you. <laughs> Somebody said that on Instagram. That's why you can't see the Instagram. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I like like Madison. And I had a whole conversation about Billy Porter being on Ebro the other day. We had a whole conversation about it, and I said, no, I I usually am in support of and and in agreement with what he says when it comes to issues. I really am because like I've never felt that that type of um, be, you know, that feeling of being ostracized. I've never felt that, but I can see it, and I know stories of other people that have been felt like they've been put out of the black community, you know? And like, I used to kind of side eye like black guys that black gay guys that dated that only dated white guys. And I realized through a conversation that I had many years ago that sometimes these black guys that only date white guys, they only date white because they feel like they were put out. They felt like they've had no other choice. They were only called sissy fag and punk by black people. They were only hurt by black people. And so they felt like they had to leave the black community behind. Now I don't know why Todrick only dates uh, 
don't do Todrick. Me and Todrick had a long conversation, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna do a full sit down with Todrick just like this. I'm gonna do a full Todrick told me some things, and I talked very deep. Hold on, Craig. I need you to look at me. Okay, I'm sorry. Look at me this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Todrick told me some very deepening things. I was on the telephone sitting listening to Todrick. I listened to Todrick heavy have a conversation with me. And he and and I am going to sit down with him and I'm going to let him tell his thing. I'm going to ask him the black questions because mm -hmm. I watched his documentary. What was it a couple of years ago? Or no, but but I'm gonna I'm going to ask Todrick the black questions. Yeah, I'm going to ask him these things because you know and I and after I talk with him, you know, he when he expressed a lot of stuff to me, I was like, oh shit, you know, I don't know what it's like to be a black person that's that in that close proximity to whiteness because I didn't grow up in the, in the spaces that he did. And I didn't, you know, and then he's also a talented black kid that saw a lot of white stuff was like, Oh, you know, and felt accepted by the white folks because, you know, so he told me a lot of shit and I just was like, okay, you know, people won't. And I told, I told him this and then I know Instagram probably going to shut down. Mm -hmm. And I had to apply this to myself. I said, while I'm ministering this to you, I also have to apply this to myself. Yes. I said, Tyler, God, yes, God anointed you with gifts and he gave you gifts and he set you in a place where you let your gifts work for you. There are gifted people out there in this world who have gifts, but don't know how to make their gifts work for them or have tried to make the gifts that they have work for them. And it, and it, it ain't working. You know what I'm saying? And then they see other people who have gifts or whatever. And again, they try to underwhelm them. Sometimes it's from their cubicle. However, <laughs> no, for real. I understand. It, but that was funny. But yeah, sometimes it is from that place. You get what I'm saying? And sometimes people see people that have it mm -hmm. and, you know, and, 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 and people that maneuver through, through ways to display. How, it's another cup in there. How to get it. Oh, it's an Instagram has this disconnected. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Hold on, Instagram. Damn, Instagram, hard ass. Okay. You just, you to, to no, because you'd have to get another code, and I think another. You know what I mean? Yeah, we can always plug it back. No, in. let me go on my Instagram now and put whatever I put up. So all the Instagram people gonna have to come over here to the morning show. But wait, what were you, what was your thought? What were you saying? What was the rest of what I was saying was I want him to apply that. What I said to him and understand that you know. All you need to do is let is continue to let your gifts make room, and you don't have to explain to any motherfucking body. Shit, custom tell them hoes to suck your dick and keep going. Cuss them out when you get fucking ready and keep going and let keep allowing your gift to work for you. Hold on, let me let me hold on, let me put the Instagram video up over here. I gotta let me go over here to this section, bitch, y'all hoes. Oh wait a minute, something else happened. You see. Uh -oh. 26 minutes ago. Well, he just got that late because I sent you that earlier. Oh, he did? Hold on. No, this... Wait. This is late. Mm -hmm. so you can always re-add. Yeah, but I would have to get another stream key. No, that's... I'm about to die. I know. Let me plug it up over here. This is when we get to the rest of the show. He just got to come over here to Facebook. Okay. To YouTube. We're going to do the rest of the show. <laughs> we gave them enough on Instagram. They got to come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go over here, like Craig. So, Craig, are you gonna start doing this? I know you are, cause everything you've seen me do, that the God said, whatever you see me do, then you could do also in my name. So just go forth and be like, T.S. Madison showed me how to do this. Speaking of, the people came to the show last week at the City Winery and was like, Craig, thank you so much for coming over to T.S. Madison's live and telling us about pay for your say. I've made so much money. I just want to hug your neck. I really appreciate you guys. Look at us right here. You see us? <laughs> Let's share it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, we have to get Craig a drink too. <laughs> yeah, because I had nothing but this expensive ass water. Yes, and did you did I did not authorize you to get out of my refrigerator? That's the first thing she said when she saw me, she said, oh, I didn't give you permission to get that. I didn't authorize you to do that, girl. You weren't authorized to get that. I'm going to put fat talk. <laughs> Please. Please and thank you. Fat talk. Fat talk. Yeah, give me some. Wait, you don't think I want no ice? No, we got Oh shit! Hold on, bitch! I'm twisted. <laughs> what you been drinking, girl? Vodka. Oh, I see. I see the vodka. 
vodka cranberry grog. Hold on, let me put a little. You didn't put the ice in. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's all I. She's trying to really get me fucked up. No, you're not, girl. You better keep that sign over there that says allegedly. Because I cannot be responsible. Wait, Ansel says, yes, Craig. Pay for your say has literally paid for all my Christmas gifts this year. You were truly a blessing. Awesome. You're welcome, baby. 